Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to talk about Dynamo so the, if you didn't watch my previous video I highly recommend you you should uh, check it out because we are talking uh, about the dots how to work with dots what is the dots and how we can create the dots so in this tutorial we will slightly uh, continue talking about the dots but we will create some the form so because you need the action you want to see what's going on on your screen so I think uh, this, that's it about the talking we will start right now as you can see I switch uh, my Revit to 2020 so I highly recommend you switch uh, to 2020 your Revit but if you're not you can still work with your Revit and your Dynamo because we will use the, some simple some basic things from the Dynamo anyway you can update it already right now so it's free don't forget about that uh, go to the manage here find the Dynamo let's open up Dynamo and let's create the new project just give a second and let's create the new project as you can see here is nothing and we will start to create the points yes we will start from the points uh, so the first thing what we what we need we need the point let's have right here we need point by coordinate so you can see this is first one point by coordinate so let's use it it's here and let's check it out where is the on the our project as you can see it's here let's a bit close it and let's check it out okay so here is our points uh, fine so what we're gonna do next next we need um, like a few points more like one I, I just copy one and three points okay so now we have three points and what we're gonna do now now we need to um, uh, put here inside the data uh, for example the Z direction Y direction and X direction you can do it by two ways you just can make double click here but double left click and right on the block or you can do this other thing you can write here the number let's write here the number okay and as you can see we get the note number here is the number okay so uh, what we're gonna do next next uh, let's start to write some data here let's say this is will be like mm, uh, five millimeter let's connect to the Z you can see now our dot now on under Z uh, so let's connect that one uh, to the X direction now you can see our dot is here let's make it 10 millimeter okay and here is will be our mm, case will be our XYZ direction so let's copy it now you will understand what's going on one two three so we have three directions here and here will be five here will be ten here will be ten and let's connect it to the X to the Y to the Z so let's check it out with our dots as you can see one two three four is our dots is here okay fine and so what we're gonna do next uh, next we want to create uh, some lines between uh, all of them uh, actually I need one more for point by coordinate let's copy it and unswitch off the Z direction this is will be our original one so if you don't write here anything if you not will connect here anything here it will be zero here everything will be zero as you can see default value is zero so the zero is your original point of your project right so this is pretty simple now we need line by start and end point so you know these things from the my previous tutorial anyway let's create it one more time line by start and end point so it's here okay and let's connect our this point it will be like a start point and x point to the end point and you will see now line perfect now i want to create the arc between this point and that point so it we will get something like arc like this so let's do it to create arc as you understand we need arc let's create let's write here the arc and we need arc by three points by let's find it here by three points no way is this by three points fill it mm, by three oh sorry no not three <laughs> by three points oh it's here as you can see uh -huh, by three points okay so as you understand we need three points first point it will be our original one the second point it will be uh, this one point so uh, this ending point 
and as you understand oh i mean the third one and the second one as you understand will be this point the number five let's connect to the number five Toof. we get the our arc so it's pretty simple right actually uh, what i'm gonna do uh, we have here the five but actually i want a five also on y direction or x direction let's check it out x direction okay so uh i i mean i want the point exactly on the middle as you can see right now it will be on the middle you can see uh -huh. because uh actually when we get we we don't have this uh, any points we have x zero so let i will show you our x so this is our first line this is our the second line and this is our third line so here the x here is Oh, here is the Z and here is Y. So, the uh, what the matter? We have the now Z. So, Z is 5. Okay. Uh, y direction. We don't have it. So, it will be 0. So, it means we will be exactly on this point. Uh, and the uh, X direction also the 0. But I don't want to point here. I want to point on this middle. So, X should be 5. Now you understand, right? So because ta ta, we will get the point here. This simple um, geometry. Let's connect now this one to the x. We get the point on exactly on this side. So we get profile actually. So let's continue to create the other one profile. So what we're gonna do now? Now we wanna join it. So because now we have the um, like separated line, we want join it like one line. But before we will do that, I will show you the one thing. Let's make it here the watch. Watch. Oh, sorry, this is my mistake. Right, because sometimes I'm using the Rhino. And right click and let's write the watch. Here is the watch. <coughs> and let's connect our arc to the watch. And you will see, here is only one arc. So now you understand what's uh, going out from this line. And from this line going only line. We want to create it like a one uh, thing, but how we can connect it uh, easily? We should create the list. List. Let's find the list create. Okay. As you can see here, is the list create, and we can apply here one more connection. As you can see, now you can see here only line. Here you can see only arc, and let's connect list to the watch. Now you can see here is nothing. Let's connect here to line, and here we will connect. The arc as you can see now we can uh, we get uh, in our out uh, line and arc like a one thing so it's uh, like a list actually but it's not still it's not still join so let's join it we for we need for that one poly curve poly curve let's raise our poly curve okay here is our poly curve and by join by join by join curves as you understand we have one curve or we have the one curve we have the second one curve and we can join it so how we can do that just connect the list to the curve and let's connect per poly curve to the watch to have a look what is going on here we get one line but this line going like a loop so this is union profile this is what we want so now I want to create uh, the, this profile, but a bit offset. As you already understand how the working uh, geometry, uh, we have the uh, Z direction, X direction and Y direction. Uh, now all our uh, profiles have here the on Y direction, on the Y direction have the zero. All three dots have the zero Y direction. Why? Because it's exactly on the X line. Now we uh, should create more uh, points, but we let's say the five y direction and we will create the same points on this side let's do that it's easy uh, if you not will understand just let me know and i'll try more explain about that uh, so what we are gonna do we have here mm, uh, we have here already point <laughs> actually you already know how to working because as you already can see here the 10 let's make it to the five five it will be enough and you can see the point is changing direction so let's make it 10 it's changing direction again okay so what i'm gonna do now uh now i will put it here and um uh, let not i not will copy it let's copy this one one copy no 
this bad thing uh, I no need with uh, I, I want without any connection so here one and here one so we have like three points again and let's copy the numbers number one number two number one and number two and let's do one by one okay here the zero point as you can see everything here is zero but as i said our uh, y should be five right so uh for that one we should create y number five let's connect okay so now our point it's number five here let's uh, have a look here uh here the five for x and z so let's do the same thing x five z 10 let's delete this one and let's connect to that one okay and let's make a y as i said five okay so as you can see it's already here let's have a look here x 10 so and we do uh, we will do the same thing here will be 10 and let's connect to the x and now we need y 5 okay we get two points one two three i will show you like this because it's exactly now where's my points okay so one two three uh to better understand what's going on we will do the same thing let's copy all of that and let's connect it properly okay let's have a look here i will unswitch off everything here okay let's have a look here uh we need point coordinates connect to the start let's connect to the start and here we need connect uh the third point to the end let's connect third, third point to the end let's connect we get the line okay after that uh, let's go uh, to the arc we should connect our first point to the first point first point to the first point our third point to the end our first point to the end and this one to the end and we get the profile now let's do the uh, one more thing as you can see why we have the same five uh, millimeter right so it means we can make only one y direction uh yes it's not uh, it's not good if you want to make shapes like this let uh, i will show you seven so you can see now we get angle but if you want to create the let's say uh all the same direction so the uh, on the one vector you can make like this connect here connect here so and you will get only one number here and uh, if you will say here 10 it will extrude by 10 if you will say here 15 you will extrude by 15 let's make six so now you can see we get two different profiles i will delete this one and let's continue now we will do again the we need a list we will create the list let's create the list okay and let's add one more and let's connect our line and arc now we need poly curve let's copy it let's copy it and let's connect to the list so now we have two poly curves uh in our project so what we're gonna do now now we get we again need create the list because we have two poly curves but i need only one so let's do like this and let's create the list again oh sorry this is block i don't need it let's create the list and let's connect them like this and like this okay so what we're gonna do now now we will create geometry finally let's write solid by loft and as you can see you can uh, if you uh, you will uh, check this picture you will see here the one profile and second profile it means for this thing you need only profiles so let's use it and as you can see we need only curves uh, inside here let's connect it and we get it so i'll change the view let's say to be realistic and we get our geometry even if you will change his here the some numbers let's say here will be 10 you will get geometry you will change here the number let's say uh is our x is our z uh, let's say here that will be six here will be 10 now you understand how to manipulate with some simple geometry right so uh i really i really ask you guys uh try and play with all these things with all the, these dots uh, to understand how it's working how revit uh, how actually dynamo working with that i will share with you with this node so you can use it in your uh, revit you link you will find below this video if you will have the question don't forget you should ask because uh, 
it's n n I don't believe like uh, to, to, to the stupid questions. We don't have the stupid questions because uh, on the stupid questions you will get a really a uh, great answer. Uh, we will try to teach you. So uh, not only me, also the viewers who are watching me, they some some people really know very well the Dynamo. They will help you. So if you have questions, don't forget you can ask under the comments. Okay, below this video you will find the file. Uh, don't forget this is uh, Revit 2020 and you will find Dynama uh, script and I'm using actually Dynama script as you can see for 2.1 so uh, if you want to use my script you should get uh, Dynama 2.1 okay so for today it's finished and the next tutorial we will talk more about geometry and points so it will going more complicated so if you are not understand how it's working points uh, go back and watch the previous video for today it's finished thank you guys for watching and see you next time to support my channel you can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time